for taking the time to think about what you wear to bed. And I don't mean like wink, wink, nudge, nudge, what you wear to bed, but what you wear to bed. I know for me, for years, decades, honestly, okay, maybe not decades, but for years, I wore what probably you wear. A pair of radio basketball shorts. If it got cold, I'd throw on a t-shirt. And that was as far as I thought about it. As I got older, and especially as I got married, I started to care a little bit more. And so I started to actually invest in some pajamas. Today I want to talk to you about pajamas and why you should even care. Why they're worth spending a little bit of time, a little bit of mental energy, and even a little bit of money into getting the right pair. So I'm going to talk about a few different scenarios and then I'm going to give you some examples of ways that you can wear them because not everybody has to wear the same pair in the same way to have them function the way that you want it to. So let's talk first about aesthetic consistency. All right. So this is the idea that a man should be consistent in his appearance. And really it's a little bit deeper than that because if you want to define yourself as a well-dressed man, which I don't think that's necessarily a top priority, that isn't the primary way a man should define himself, but you're better off if you can consider yourself to be a well-dressed man. If you want to consider yourself to be a well-dressed man, then you have to dress well in every situation in which you possibly can. Otherwise, when you do dress well, it's not part of who you are, it's just a costume. It's something that you put on and take off. It's not this integral aspect of who you are and how you define yourself. So, if you want this mindset shift, if you want to be a well-dressed man, then you need to be able to dress well in every situation. So it becomes second nature, it becomes muscle memory, it becomes part of how you see yourself. Reason number two is because of the message it conveys and what that can do for you. If you think about it, for the most part, people aren't really going to be seeing you in your pajamas. But when they do, it can be the absolute worst time in which they would be seeing you in your pajamas. And a lot of times you want to use that to your advantage. The example that always comes to my head is I remember when I was in high school. I spent the night at a buddy's house and we were being a little bit loud. And so his dad came downstairs and ripped us a new one. And as he was trying to enforce his authority and intimidate us into shutting up so that he and his wife could get some sleep, it didn't really have the effect that he wanted it to because he was this big, kind of overweight guy and he's there in his underwear. It wasn't scary, it was funny. And so his authority was undermined by the way that he looked. I know for me, if I want my kids to perceive me as an authority figure, if I want my wife to be able to consider me to be respectful at all times, then it's worth it to be in pajamas that actually look like I'm an adult man as opposed to a teenage boy. And then the third reason is comfort. Comfort's a huge one. It's one that I usually tend to gloss over, but when it comes to your sleepwear, comfort is huge. You want to be able to buy materials that breathe well, that they make it easy for you to be able to get the rest that you need as opposed to you're having to work against that. And so that's why if you get in something that's actually designed as pajamas, the way that it's cut, the materials that are chosen, they're all used to actually help you accomplish that goal of sleeping better and being more comfortable as you do so. Now I want to give you three different examples of ways that you can do this. Now everything in here except for the night robe is made from a brand called Tanny and their stuff is awesome. I've loved these pajamas ever since I've had them. I use their undershirts as pajamas sometimes. Either way, whether it's the pajamas pajamas or just their underwear stuff, it's so comfortable, it's high quality and so that's what I'm going to be showing you. So the first one I'm going to give you is the iteration that's the most Dress down, it'll be the easiest one to transition into if you've never really thought about wearing pajamas before. We'll call this one the dude. So you take a pair of linen cotton bottoms, open, breathable, they are just as comfortable in the winter as they are in the summer, and then you wear a breathable, silk-like t-shirt that's gonna keep you cool and it's gonna help you be more comfortable. This is the kind of thing that, yeah, you're not gonna be winning any style awards, but at least you're not gonna be embarrassing yourself. It's gonna be kind of right in the middle of the road. So for most guys, this is a great place to start. This is a good way to do it. You wanna step it up a level, you go to what I call the dad. And for me, 99% of the time, this is my go-to. I will sleep in the dude, but before I'm going to bed or after I've gotten up in the morning, I'm having breakfast with my wife and my kids, then I'll throw on a night robe over it. It gives a little bit more coverage, it gives a little bit more visual power, but then it also gives me a little bit more pocket space and it just helps me feel a little bit more like I'm gearing up or gearing down to get ready for the day so I don't feel as exposed as I do when I'm in my PJs. The last one is definitely the one that's gonna be the most dressed up and we'll call this one the dignitary. The reason that this one works so well is because of what it is that it communicates. I personally love this in the winter when I want a little bit more layering and I want something that keeps me a little bit warmer. But at the same time, whatever time of year, if I'm in a situation where people other than my 
wife and my kids are going to see me in my pajamas, this is the route I want to go. Now, it doesn't happen all the time, but I can spend the weekend with my in-laws. I can go travel with people. I can spend the weekend even just with my own parents, my siblings, their wives, their kids. They're people who occasionally do see you in your pajamas. And for me, the dignitary, by actually having this matching top, makes it look a little bit more put together, a little bit more intentional, and a little bit more like I have that consistency that I want you guys to have. Whatever your poison is of the three, go ahead and pick it, but I definitely suggest trying this out. It's gonna help you see yourself better as a consistently well-dressed man, and it's gonna help you sleep better. Now, I got the hookup from Tanny on this, and so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of love too. I talked them into giving me a coupon code that I can give you is for 25% off anything in their store. So you go in, you check out what you want, you get it loaded up, and you put in style 25, as the coupon, they're gonna knock 25% off anything you have in there. Obviously, I recommend you go check out their loungewear, which is their pajamas. I recommend checking out their undershirts, which I personally use as pajamas, but are awesome and they're intended to be worn as undershirts. Even their underwear is phenomenal stuff. You'll pay a little bit more, but it's worth it because you've got the durability and you've got the comfort aspect of it. Why not feel as good in your clothes as you look in them? And so go ahead and check them out. Make sure you remember it's Style 25, and I'm going to have a link down here for you below. If you like this, please subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, and I will see you next time.